and that board's turning pretty red. Oh no! Come on, no! <laughs> you were so close! Oh, I figured it would happen. going guys today we're gonna be playing some bridge constructor portal now this is a new bridge constructor game obviously as you can see made in the portal universe it's a cool combination of two vastly different genres now this is made by the same developer that has done all the bridge constructor games so don't freak out this is not a new portal game this is a new bridge constructor in the portal universe i thought i'd say that because there's gonna be so many people in the comments saying what the hell is this this is not a portal game so, I did a couple of the missions off recording because they were kind of just telling you how to build bridges. If you've watched this channel long enough, you kind of know how that works. Now we're getting into the portal aspect though, so this looks really, really fun. So we got GLaDOS talking to us, uh, kind of explaining how this works, and I'll quickly explain how some of this works as well. So we're building Very a bridge good. right now. Testing procedure requires that this test will not allow supporting the bridge from below. However... We can use the construction attachment points above to suspend the bridge with Aperture Science Multipurpose Super Cables. Alright, those multipurpose super cables. Multipurpose super cables consist of tightly rolled shower curtains and can be stretched over tightly long distances. Tightly rolled shower curtains. That does not sound safe, but that sounds like Aperture Labs, that's for sure. So it's basically telling us how to do the ropes right now Perfect. if we want to do a now suspension bridge. Now send the bridge. vehicle through the portal. Don't worry, these intradimensional gates have been proven completely safe for custodial staff. Well, that's good to know. Do we not want to build the bridge? Okay, doesn't want me to build the bridge first, so this is how it works. I mean, if you've seen a bridge constructor before, you know you gotta get from point A to point B. This time, though, we're in Aperture Lab. Oops. Please note, and that guy to just protect valuable testing apparatus. Vehicle drivers are not permitted to make contact with the deadly fluid on the chamber floor. Well, then you should have let Your me build the bridge. Your photo will be provided in the vehicle driver's cause of death form in the event of your failure. Great. Th 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 thanks for that. Okay, now there's just more pressure on my side. Uh, well, we know how to do this now, so we want to build... Oh, we don't want to build a suspension bridge all the way across. We want to build the bridge all the way across. Now, this game's kind of cool because it uses... um. The structure joints just like the roadways, so all you got to do is click this and it automatically turns to roadways. And now we obviously want to keep this suspended. Can we reach this? Yes, all the way over there. Perfect. And we have the attach point, so we'll just do that. I think that should be perfect just like that. So we're going to drive it. This one's obviously a very simple map. Just got to get from the top to the bottom, or the bottom to the top rather. And make your way to the exit. Looks like this bridge. Ooh, a little bit of a shake, but uh, not enough to really screw it up. And we did it right. Now, you can do convoy as well. I wonder if that changes uh, the amount of money. No, because that's how much I spent. Let's just try it anyways. So now you have to do all the uh, forklifts. And as you can see, I don't know if the weights are different, but certain forklifts have multiple people. Some forklifts only have one person. It's really cool. I like the kind of blend of genres here, but there we go, no problem at all. Got all three by, and I still spent the same amount of money, so I don't know why you would want to do the convoy, I guess just to do it. Multiple pairs of portals can exist at the same time. One of them is leading to a deadly laser field. I see that. It appears red to discourage casual contact. I am registering an increased heart rate and galvanic skin response, <laughs> obviously God. due to the fact that you are not able to tell which portal will lead the vehicles into the lethal deadlock. To compensate for your lack of clairvoyant abilities, we will alter the portal's spectral radiance. Okay, so they're gonna change the colors. Look at this, you've never on, seen this in Portal. Interlinked portals will always have matching colors. All right, simple enough. Now I understand, and it's hopefully she'll stop talking to us as much because I know how to do a bridge constructor game. So what we wanna do, we started at the bottom here. I think I wanna go into Cyan. That will allow us to drop into red and then maybe even we can launch ourselves to the end. I think that's going to be a good idea. So let's try it and see what we can do. All right, so we're going to do that like that. Change that all to roadways. Can we reach this? No, we can't. So we got to do uh, the cable ties once again. Oops. I want to make sure we actually connect to it or bad things will definitely happen. That should actually be all we need there. I don't even think we need to do the sides because they're already connected. So that should be good. 
Now for the fun part. I have no idea how fast these vehicles go. I haven't played enough yet to kind of know, but I want to kind of make it fall into the red. So we're going to do something like that. Hopefully that will give us enough to launch it over here, because actually, I don't think we have a choice. There's no connection points over here, so we have to launch ourselves out of the red thing. And that's what's going to make this game so fun. It's totally different from other bridge constructors, and I think it's going to be pretty interesting. So first try, will it work? All right, we got him going through, up to the top. Oh, I forgot to build road. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. We were going pretty fast though, so I'm actually gonna lower this and we'll do a nice straight line just like that. And we'll see if that indeed is all we needed to do. So I gotta remember that. Road is obviously very important. We are flying and... Oh, dude, perfect. Can't get much better than that. Let's try the convoy though. See if these uh, bridges can deal with the added weight. Oh God. Okay, actually, dude, look at this. If we can do them all. Oh, that is so friggin' cool. No bridge constructor is like this game, and that was a perfect job right there. All right, next level. Level five, arches. All right, this what do you got for me this time? This only has construction attachment points at the start and end of the roadway. Gotcha. In such cases, the bridges must be self-supporting. So we're gonna make triangles. placed in a triangular yep, formation. All right, so simple enough. I've done this enough times to know how to do it. I could actually probably go a little crazier and, you know, you know, let's not get too crazy. I don't know how hard this game is. So we're just gonna do some nice triangles here. Fantastic triangles. I don't even think we need to really be that accurate with it because I feel like these cars are rather light. Oh, of course, it's out just a little bit. So let's move that over. Perfect. Oh, it actually tells you. Oh, why didn't more bridge games do this? So it tells you if you will be able to reach it or not, which is obviously really, really useful. I think this is actually a little bit off center. That looks like the middle to me. So let's finish that. There we go. That looks like a fantastic bridge. We just got to do that one more time, this time on an incline. All right, so we got that done. I don't know if these are exactly accurate, but it should hopefully hold it just enough. And let's hit the drive button here. Here we go. All the way through all these portals. Wow, he just went into overdrive there. There we go. There's my first bridge. Totally fine. Second bridge. Great. And third bridge, which I didn't make. Obviously really good as well. All right, let's throw out the convoy once again. So I don't really know what this convoy does. It's really fun to do though. So we may as well do it anyways. I'm assuming convoy is going to be a little bit more difficult because you have multiple uh, vehicles on the bridges at the same time. You can see they do seem to change a little bit red, so you can see visually uh, if they're going to break or not. And so far, this game's definitely a little bit easier than most that i played, just because the bridges aren't breaking yet. But I'm assuming it's going to get drastically more difficult really, really quickly. All right, crisscross. Sounds fun to me. Please note the closed door before the exit. Gotcha. It looks like it's connected to an X. At least goes one up here. vehicle must press the blue Aperture Science One Touch Super button to open the door to the exit. Okay, so we know we vehicle gotta touch that button. May cross we start when there off. There are several here. portal pairs. Hmm. But please don't panic as this may distract the drivers. To compensate for a broad range of applicant ability, the Enrichment Center is required to provide all applicants, especially you, with useful advice. Yes, give me the that advice. advice for this test chamber is as follows. Build a near initial slice of the air that he for exit. What? Very simple. Yeah, totally. Okay, well, let's get it started. All right, so I'm going to quickly try something. Let's just not think about it and go for it. That is the way I do life. All right, so we're going to do that. That's going to drop us down here, and then we might be able to just ramp right over. I don't know. We'll try it, though, and see how we can do. I don't even know if this bridge will hold up. Um, we're going to need the suspension cord here because that's all we really have access to. But, I mean, that should be it right there. Let's just test it first. Drive and... Oh, yeah, no problem at all. I was worried about it making it over that, but that worked totally fine. And, unfortunately, oh, how am I going to address that? Well, if we expand out this platform, it, I don't think it will really even matter because we can just connect this to that up there, and let's just connect to that too because they are gonna be landing on this and doing a lot of damage, but that might be good for this. It's probably not the best way to do it, but I think we might be able to land it, assuming we don't flip the vehicle. I didn't watch for that, so, oh, 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 yeah, look at that landing, perfect. 
Okay, and then we gotta do kind of the same thing down here. That opens up. Ooh, actually, we might have enough speed to make it. Okay, so I just need to build a little piece here, and that's it. All right, so we'll build a bigger piece just because we can make this all into a uh, road and then do some triangle bridges here. I don't think that's really going to affect anything, so this should be actually really, really good just like that. Perfect. Oh, this game, the building in this is so nice. And for a bridge constructor, obviously, you want that. All right, so this should be everything that we needed to do. Goes through the first portal. We know that works perfectly. Now, the convoy, we might have a pile up here, depending on how quickly they drop. So that might be our one issue. There we go. Perfect landing. And do we have a good one? Yeah, look at that to the exit. Okay, now the big question is, will the convoy work? I think we're going to get too big of a pile up. Well, you know what? It might be spread out enough, actually. I think we'll be totally okay if this guy gets away. Oh, yeah, no problem at all. Oh, no! Oh, no! My aperture dudes are falling off. Okay, so hitting things obviously makes them fall off. Now, what happens, though? Do we get a penalty for that? Or do they just not really care? There's so many falling off. Well, all of the trucks went through, so that's the important part. And, uh, oh, my God, I didn't even notice the crisscross here. I wasn't even watching that. They must have just missed each other. That bridge, man, it looks like it's going to break every time. But we did it, and we got 10 out of 10. So I guess it doesn't care about the humans as long as we get the vehicles by. I like the sound of thrust. I think Remember, I automatically see how to do this one, actually. Remember, vehicles will so maintain their bad. speed when driving through a portal. Okay. As you can see, it will need a lot of speed to hurdle the middle wall. Gotcha. The this is my kind of game. I'd like to remind you that the entire vehicle must reach the exit to earn a positive mark on your testing record. That makes me feel like these vehicles can get damaged. Maybe? For other critical testing anecdotes, please refer to the Library of Best Practices, which is now available to you effective immediately. Oh, I feel like that's cheating, though. Okay, so there's a best practices thing in here. Let's just take a look. Okay, so it's just kind of telling you uh, certain ways to do things. Actually, this is really useful, so we'll address that when we need it. Right now, though, I think I have a good idea on how to do this, so it's already kind of built here. We're going to uh, obviously connect this to that, and I don't know if I should get air with the vehicle or if I should just drive it right in. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm pretty confident that this is, this is going to work, so I'm going to actually build my landing pad well, actually, we could probably... No, I don't want to do that. What I want to do is build a structure down here. So I guess I didn't need that there, but that's totally fine. Now, can we pull out... Okay, we can't do that. I'm wondering... Okay, certain games you can pull on these and expand them, but unfortunately, this one doesn't look like you can do that. But we should be good with something like that. Put a landing pad, and if we get it perfectly... I mean, this might work. I don't know, he's getting up speed. Oh, it's gonna be close. Oh, he landed it. Okay, so, oh, hey, look at that. That's not too shabby. Obviously, I could add more to the landing pad, but why do that if money is the important part here? We wanna spend as little as possible. So let's try the convoy out and see if we can do it. I'm actually surprised this worked. I thought we'd have to get a little bit of air to get enough speed to go across, but it looks like, oh, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, ah. Uh, <laughs> Oh, no! Oh, the final one didn't make it. All right, so we're going to beef this up a little bit because it does like to break. And uh, this should be what we need to successfully do the convoy. I'm going to try and do the convoy every time. At least for these easier ones, we should be okay. Now, assuming this lands nice and smoothly. Oh, yeah, look at that. Can't get much better. We're not even losing any of the humans this time. They're going perfectly all the way through. So it costs a lot more, actually double the amount of price, holy crap. But we made it with five out of five, so let's move on and get further into this game. Oh, this looks fun. So I immediately know what I gotta do. We have to make a little jump to go past this portal and then fall into that portal, which will launch us up here, but we'll listen to GLaDOS Please talk to us. that this test chamber's exit is very near the top. Okay. Is the that all you're going to tell me? The drivers okay. will need speed and crossing paths to complete this test on your behalf. We believe in you, Applicant 9723. Alright, I totally got this. Thank if you. If you are not Applicant 9723, please submit a sporadic encouragement request form 274 days what? prior to testing. 
Uh, well, we're already testing, so that's a little late. All right, but simple enough. We, uh, do a little jump right here like that, and we will have a landing pad kind of here like that. Now, hopefully, the vehicle should fall right through. Oh, this is gonna be cool, though. All right, so let's just reinforce these a little bit. There we go, just like that. This one we can just do like that. Can we reach that? All right, we're gonna actually, we should be able to get more than enough air, so I'm just gonna pull that back a little bit, and... That looks good just like that. Obviously change these to, oh, oh, didn't mean to do that. All right, zoom in here. Sometimes it's a little finicky, but there we go. Now the question is, is that enough speed to do that pretty big jump? I don't know. It's gonna be close. Oh yeah, look at that. And through it goes. Now the question is, do I need to do anything here? Yes, indeed. I think I need to make a platform. All right, so I'm just gonna build something like this for right now. I don't know exactly how much space the guy had, but that should be enough to land on it. So we'll drive again here and we'll see if this works. All right, those things are a little bit wobbly. I'm kind of worried because once multiples go on that, we might be screwed, but, oh, 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 a little bit of a burnout. Come on, you can make it up that hill. No problem at all. We got the one done. Convoy is gonna be really hard here though. All right, let's try the convoy. I assume these are gonna break. Unless these guys do it separately every time. Ooh, actually. Oh, God. Please don't crash into each other. This is so cool. This is why Convoy is going to be so much more difficult. It's because we got things going through portals. As you can see, multiple ones are landing on this, but they're landing right on the pressure point. That's where you want to land so it doesn't break. So that was perfect. And we made it all the way to the end. I don't know if Man. I'm really good at this game or this is just really easy, but I feel like, you know... Yeah, at least takes a little bit of skill to do this. All right, so super colliding super button. Whatever that means, GLaDOS, let this me know. This chamber will include untested testing apparatus. Okay. Previous tests have shown that applicants who are more anxious about the increased complexity will take comfort in the following sounds. Oh my god. Thanks, GLaDOS, that really helped me. You can see from your me. monitor that your mood has nearly improved to acceptable limits. No, it, it really uh, hasn't, GLaDOS. I don't know what you're analyzing, but uh, that, that didn't really help heavy me. The heavy-duty super colliding super button must be permanently pressed to hold the door open. Okay. So we got a companion cube up here. Uh, there is also a vital apparatus vent. Yep. When activated. It drops a weighted companion cube. Gotcha. So we got to drop the companion cube, push the red button of doom or whatever it was. If you've been paying attention, this. the solution should be obvious. Looks pretty As obvious the to case me. May be, good luck. So I'm not sure why this stuff's here. It might actually be the way to do it. I'm actually going to delete this stuff, though, because I think I got a better way. Well, I have my way, at least. The Dre way. Who knows if it's better or not. But if we do that... That's going to allow us to obviously climb up there pretty simply, and then we just got to do the same thing. Yeah, this is definitely how to do it. I don't know why that was built, probably just to trick me, but those are our two roads, so we can just change those and then reinforce them. We should be golden, actually. This is going to be really easy because we got the top support as well, so we can basically make two suspension bridges if we really want to, which I might actually do here. Let's try it. Let's see if it can support itself. I'm going to need to make this over here like that. Connect that to that, and if we need to, we have that bottom support as well, so we can obviously do that if we need to. All right, so let's drive and see. That should be perfect. Up the hill we go. That did no problem at all. This thing's flying, as you can see. That should drop that, open that, and right to the exit we go. Simple enough. All right, Convoy should be totally fine with this as well. That bridge did hardly even move, but... Sometimes I've been surprised, especially if there's multiples at the bottom and top. Then again, it looks like the top ones are going to leave just when the bottom ones arrive. And that cord's turning pretty red. Oh, no. Come on. No. <laughs> you were so close. Oh, I figured it would happen. That was, that was really close, though. So obviously, we just need a little bit of support in the bottom here. So let's just do that real quick. All right. I spent way more money, but as you can see, that should be way more reinforced. So companion cube down. That's all good. And that bridge is not moving now. That's hardly even turning red. Perfect job. We got the convoy done. All right, and on to level 10. Now, this is the final one on the first few missions, so this is probably going to be a little bit more difficult. Cube Detour. What do you got to say today, GLaDOS? Nothing. That's odd. 
All right, so let's look at what we need to do. So we got a companion cube that drops with the press of this button. We need to press the red button over here to open up this door over here. And we have two portals, one going down to the bottom. So I feel like this is the exit once again. Why are you doing this to me? This is definitely... We don't need this. We don't need any of this. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. I don't like it. I want to do it my own way, damn it. Ah, oh, I think I get it. Now that I see these up here... I think we're going to want to build kind of like a hill down to there. Okay, so I was like, how the heck am I going to go press that button? Not even noticing these things up here. So that should be good. We'll just turn that into roadways and suspension bridge once again. So that is addressed. The part that confused me, the rest of it should be pretty straightforward, I think. So we'll just do that. Oh, oh. Ah! Okay, get, still getting used to the delete tool. It's a little bit different than most. Now, can we do this? No, we can't go through, obviously. But that's already connected anyway, so it doesn't really matter. All right, now that the hard part's done, though, we just got to build a bridge over here. That's going to go through the portal. And then we got to build a bridge that... Hmm. Actually, there's no connection point to the top, technically. So we might need to use both of these connection points to uh, actually build a bridge here. There's actually no place to actually put it. But if we do that, and then just really structurally reinforce it, I think we're golden. So let's just turn that to road. Turn this to road so we don't forget. Make this a little uh, triangle bridge. Just like that. And uh, quickly, we'll just do something down here. Some sort of magic work. All right, that should be like that. That should be like that. There we go. We can go above the road as well, just to make sure. Why not? Let's do it. Let's go crazy here. Because uh, clearly money doesn't seem to affect you too much. And then down like that. Connect these together. And that should definitely... Oh, crap. Okay. Uh, totally forgot to build this. But there we go. Now we should be good. So, first try. Is it going to work? I think we're totally good here. This is quite reinforced. That's going down. It's got to go quick. There we go. Yes. And that's... Good enough! <laughs> Alright, before we try Convoy, that did a little bit of a jump, so if we can kind of flatten that a bit, that might help out, and we'll make a little bit of a hump here. That way, it's not so crazy at the top. Alright, Convoy time! We should be good. So again, it looks like two is max on the bridge. That's not too bad. This bridge down here, I'm a little worried about, but... Oh, no problems at all. Look at that. Perfect. And that's how you get a convoy all the way across, so not too bad. Oh, I'm back at the office. You guys didn't see this. Uh, is that ropes? Is this, is this a new item for me to use? What are you doing? Did you just put it in my computer? Oh, you plugged my computer in. <gasps> You've allowed me to use the computer. The cake's a lie. The cake is definitely a lie. <laughs> Oh, they're, they're going to be celebrating anyways. By completing the first testing stage, you've earned the opportunity to continue testing. Yay! Isn't that the, the most enjoyment that you can get out of this? Fail, failure to continue testing will result in detainment until the next semi-annual reassignment phase. Great. All right, so there we go. That's the first major 10 levels in the game. We're going to wrap up this one here, and next time we'll be doing some underfire. So once again, guys, this is Bridge Constructor Portal. If you do want to check it out for yourself, as always, links will be in the description. Thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.